how to install the Crazy Tutor. So you need to have Maven installed in your machine, git um, npm and uh, Java. And then you need to download the code. So you go to the GitHub interface and you copy this link to clone the code. So you come here and you do a git clone and you just copy it. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Once it is a clone, what you need to do is just you move there. So in this case it's prototype. Okay. And you go you go to backend. And the first thing you can do is just to run the tests in the backend. So to run the tests you use Maven, Maven and clean. You do minus test. So use the test profile and you do the command test and now it starts uh, running the 500 tests okay it's gonna take a while as well as you can see we have run uh, 520 um, service tests in your case should be more probably so the next thing to do uh, is to run the web services tests but web service tests are going to run with a, a real database. So you need to have the database and you need to create a database. I'm going to first delete the database just because I'm, I already have one. But in our case, if you are doing it first time, you don't need to delete it. So I do drop db tutor db and then create db tutor db. Okay. Then I need to change some configuration files okay and to change the configuration file this is in uh, cd source main resources okay here you will see two things you will see that you have um, application dev properties so I'm going to copy this, this example. So I'm going to copy application dev properties example to application dev properties. OK. And I'm going to edit it. Application dev properties. And what I need to change here is basically the database port so and is five three two insert five four three two and the database name which is tutor db okay tutor db and then i need to give the username of the database in my case is ars and the database password, which I have no password. Okay. This is enough here. So I'm going to save the file. And I need to do something else because I need to just to look inside application test int properties. Here I need to define these two variables environment variables okay so what i need to do basically in my machine is i export these equal to ars and export these but now it's password and i don't have password okay now I'm ready to run the um, integration test, so I do Maven, clean, and I use a different profile, which is test int, and I run the integration tests. So these are the web service tests, okay? integration test. And now it's going to run uh, OK, sorry. So what is the error? I'm not in the right directory. I'm in uh, resources. So I need to go back to backend. And I can do it here. 
that where is the the pom dot xml file so where the maven comments run okay and now it's going to execute the the tests it's going to take a while okay it finished right i ran just uh, 34 uh, tests and now i'm going to launch uh, the application okay and i'm going to use maven clean so i'm going to launch the, the backend spring boot run okay it's going to take a little bit in your case it's going to take a bit longer because you're going to download uh, several libraries the first time do it okay so it finished okay so as you can see uh, you have um, a tomcat running in port 8080 okay so if i came here to the browser if i do local localhost 8080 i will assess i can see anything but i can use now i can i can use swagger you see if i do 8080 swagger ui html and it runs here and then to go to the application i need to do let me check here what is the the name prototype okay and now i'm gonna do less backhand uh, source main resources and uh, in application properties i will see where it is and it is in um, api docs okay. the swagger and if i go to api docs i should see the our web services so these are our our web services okay and uh, afterwards i will show you but i can show you already how do you basically invoke a web servers and test web servers so this is the set of the documentation for the set of web services that are available so i, I can just see and do uh, go do login as a student so i come here and i can say that i'm going to try it out okay and i want to create so i'm not going to i'm going to do a login as a demo student and i don't create a new student when i do it i execute and i get the token here this token is necessary for the other requests so that i can identify who's doing the requests okay in this case is the demo student and now i go here in authorize and basically i just write it there and i do authorize now all the invocations i will do i will be invoked uh, i will be uh, accessing as a as a student okay so let 